When a great visiting collection arrives, it usually arrives in a series of groups of paintings, and as soon as the crates of paintings um, have sort of settled in terms of the environment and they're, they're opened, and as they're opened, a conservator from the host institution and a conservator from the lending institution examine each work of art as it comes out of the crate. We are able to spend sometimes hundreds of hours living in very close proximity with, with works of art. So unpacking the Prada pictures afforded lots of opportunity to see the Spanish pictures close to and really to appreciate some of the wonderful qualities of handling and color and subject you know, that, that makes Spanish painting unusual. But the Prado is, is comprised of paintings that have a lot of common history. They've lived together for centuries. They've experienced you know, some of the same disasters like that 1734 fire or being taken off during the Spanish Civil War to caves in Switzerland. They're less restored than paintings elsewhere and a lot of them still stand. They're still good. You don't, there are many paintings in the Prado with 18th or 19th century relinings that just don't need any further work right now. And I think that's a different look than what we tend to see in American museums, most of which have been built up in the last 140 years, where many, many paintings have had more difficult lives than the paintings in the Prado.